He's mean. He's really mean. I've been telling people this for years. Now, I want you to believe me tonight. I'm not kidding. He's mean. He's a mean person. He Leonard. stole my bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> Steal yes, your he bicycle. He stole For my God. bicycle. I'm going to tell you the story. And that I was not well at the time. Okay, I'll tell you what he would do. i tell you what he would do. He took I'm... advantage of a, of, a, of, a, of a person in need. Yeah, you were in need. A person struggling in pain. You were in... He did. He hurt me badly. I want you to know that. Is this being taped? Is somebody taping this? I want it on record. You know. <laughs> hurt you for the world, Leonard. But the problem was, every time they'd call lunch, you'd get on your bike and bicycle down to the commissary and get there ahead of lunch. That's London. the logical thing to do. <laughs> Is there something I said? <laughs> He's pushing the thing back. Look, I'm looking it. for the water. You want some water? Yeah. It's true. I had a bicycle. It had my name on it, too. That's right, I said it right there, Leonard Nemo, and it's spelled it correctly, too. <laughs> and I am a Y. Okay, and I used to get on the bike because, because we had not a lot of time to get from the, from the stage to the commissary to get your lunch and then get back to the makeup department, get the ears touched up, and then get back to the stage and go to work. So I used the bicycle. Right. And, and, uh, and one day I walked outside the stage and my bicycle was gone. Right. So I came in on the stage and I was, I was kind of upset. I said, who took my bicycle? Come on, guys. I got it here for a reason. You it, know? Wasn't well, gun, it, it wasn't gun. It wasn't gun. It was chained. Somebody, no, this is before. Now, now, my friend here decides he's going to have sip, some fun with me. So one day, one day after I had complained, he got my bicycle and he, and he uh, uh, tied it to a rope and they, and they put the rope up in the rafters. And the ceiling, ceiling is higher than the ceiling here in the soundstage. And I, with my bicycle, and everybody starts laughing. Ha 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 ha. I mean, is, is that funny to hide a guy's bicycle? And I was not, I was in bad shape. I mean, I could hardly walk at the time. I was like this, you know, Bill, you take advantage of a guy who's hurting. I was hurting very badly. I want some sympathy. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. He's only telling you half the story. Let me tell you the rest of the story. When he first got the bike, he'd pedal like crazy and he'd get down to the commissary ahead of everybody else and he'd get lunch before everybody else had. Now these are important things. So I bought a chain and one of those locks that when you shoot them they still remain in place. And I locked the bike to a, a, a fire hydrant. Why? And he came out and he said, who, who did this? Yeah, why would you do that? Well, because I had to get, we all had to have lunch too. Everybody had the right turn. We had to run down that street and get our lunch. So he got bolt cutters the next day and opened the thing and he got his bike. So the following day, well, look, I'm not going to help you out. No, no. <laughs> I don't need any help. I just, you're on your I, own. I want to know whether you remember this. I, I, I remember everything. <laughs> I breed, I breed Dobermans as, as well as, do, uh, as well as uh, horses. Dobermans. Now Dobermans are great dogs. They're very territorial. They love their master. And I. His dogs are meaner than he is. <laughs> that's not easy. Uh, I'm territorial too. So, so I put my dog in my dressing room every morning to go and act. So when I saw that his bike was unchained and somebody could take it, <laughs> I took his bike and I put it for safekeeping in my dressing room. <laughs> and when he asked me where his bike was, I said, I put it in my dressing room for safekeeping, Leonard. <laughs> and then I went off to lunch. <laughs> he got very upset just because a Doberman went for his throat. <laughs> I told him the best way to stop a charging Doberman <laughs> is while it's in midair, yeah. you reach in and grab its tongue. With the Vulcan death grip. <laughs> Immediately stops. I tried the Vulcan death grip, it didn't work. <laughs> the next day, I, I, had a, I had a very large car. I was driving a large Buick in those days. I had a large You're Buick. You're still driving parked it. <laughs> Parked outside the soundstage, and to protect my bicycle, I put it inside my Buick and locked the car. 
Guess who had my car towed away? <laughs> this is not a nice guy. This is not a nice guy. <laughs> It was one of those flyer bicycles, and I still have it. They're worth a lot of money now. <laughs> <laughs>